In this demonstration, you're going to learn how to customize the fields that are displayed in your pop-up window. All right, so we're going to start by looking at the land parcel layer. And what I'll do here is simply right-click on that layer, select Configure Pop-ups. That'll display the Configure Pop-ups pane for land parcels. Now, by default, it will automatically add a field element to your content area. This number that you see represents the number of fields that are currently associated with that content element. So there's 37 fields currently being displayed from that land parcel layer. Now the default behavior, if you click on this uh, little pencil icon, which is edit the pop-up element, this is gonna be the default for field options. And uh, it's simply gonna default to only using the visible fields and any arcade expressions that may be applied. Uh, and so right now, all of the fields, if you kind of scroll through this, you can see all of the fields that are attached to that layer are currently being displayed. Now, if I want to change that, I simply uncheck the box. And then from there, I can select the individual fields that I want to display. Uh, you can use the checkbox at the top to very quickly turn on and off uh, the checkboxes for all uh, of the fields. And so let's say, for example, that I only want to add in just a, a handful of these fields when I'm doing an, an identify operation. So I might select something like prop ID, uh, owner name, maybe legal description, some of the value fields, land, improvement, market value, maybe the situs address, year built, right? So we're just selecting a handful of fields in this case. Now, when you click this back arrow button, it's automatically going to save any changes that you've made. So if I click the back arrow button, and now if I do, now you'll notice uh, initially it's, it's reset the number of fields to eight. So currently I'm gonna be displaying eight fields when I do an identify. So now when I select or do an identify, uh, of course, I get a sm much smaller list of fields that are being displayed. So that's how you go about customizing the attribute fields that are going to be displayed uh, in your in your uh, custom pop-up window. Now, if you need to add additional uh, field content sections, you can always click on this uh, fields button, and it will add a secondary content area for fields. You probably don't need to do that very often, but there may be need to, may be situations where you want multiple content areas that are displaying field information. And uh, so you can add as many of these uh, content areas that, that uh, display field information as you want. All right, that's it for now. Thank you for joining me.